Hey, dolls and gents, how y'all doing? It's been a minute since we've done a get ready with me. So, I decided to go live a little bit while I get ready today. Do my makeup. Um, all right. Now, I always say my, my makeup goes better when I got a little gospel going. Maybe it's just me. Okay. So, I started with a clean face today. Um... I don't know if you have a hard time getting your makeup off at night, but I used to really have a hard time getting my makeup off at night. And I would wash my face at night, then I'll wake up in the morning and I would still have makeup on my face. So I had to formulate something for us dolls, y'all, because I didn't want us to have bad skin and trying to be cute. So um, I formulated ADU All Dolled Up Cleansing Oil. And the way you use it is you just put a drop of this in your hand about the size of a dime. You rub it together and you rub it all over your face. It removes stubborn stubborn uh, lipsticks. It removes stubborn eyeliner. It removes um, lashes, all that good kind of stuff. Um, and then after you do that, you take a good hot washcloth and you wipe your face down. And then you go in with your, um, hopefully you got the ADU line, girls. I hope you got the All Dolled Up product line. You go in with your foaming cleanser and you go in with your brush or you can do it with your fingers and your cleanse. Um, and then you continue on with the rest of the steps depending on where you are at with it. So, um, all right. Now, let's get into today. So, I've already got my face clean. And now I'm going to start with my daily moisturizer. I use the Alvino Clean and Clear. or the Clear Complexion. And mine is almost out because my kids can't wear They think we sure. So, I use a little of that. And then, um... I use my All Dolled Up Faith Oil. Do you have your faith oil? Listen, this is the best beauty in a bottle. It is a, it is good for your hair, your skin, and your nails. It helps to even out your complexion and remove blemishes and just the overall, improve the overall tone of your skin. Um, it helps to grow your hair, your edges. A lot of people have grown their edges back with it. And it helps to uh, strengthen your nails. So, uh, it's a three-in-one beauty product. So, I go in with my, my um, base, my protector from, to get my skin ready for all the rest of the things. Now, listen, I have really oily skin. So, for a lot of years, I would not wear... Um, I wouldn't wear moisturizer because I thought that you didn't need it if you have oily skin, but it actually is still good for you. Um, and I've been wearing it now. When I don't wear makeup, this is just my regular, my clean and clear face. And you know, I used to wear makeup because I felt like I had to. Now I wear it because I enjoy it, but I feel comfortable without it. There were many years that I wore makeup and I didn't feel comfortable without it. I felt ugly without makeup. So if you're wearing makeup and you don't feel pretty without makeup, it's no longer enhancing you. It is now a problem. Um, the next thing that I do is the uh, foundation primer by Mary Kay. I like that. That's one product that is really cool. I actually even use it when I'm not wearing makeup because it just really uh, evens out those pores. So I go in and I apply that all over my face. I like brushes and all that good stuff, but when I don't have time, I like to use my hand. It's quicker. All right, so I got a good even base of primer on there. All right, so next, um, listen, y'all, I hope y'all tune in on Friday night because the word on Friday is so good. We're going to talk about identity. I figured out something. The hardest person in the world, it seems to be is yourself it's hard to be yourself in today's society of cookie cutters and we're going to explore that topic on friday so please make sure you tune in uh, to makeover transformation church where we believe in makeovers from the inside out it's not enough to be pretty on the outside been there done that got the t-shirt one best dress every time i stepped in the room whether it was the church the boardroom or the nightclub one best dress but then i learned it was not enough just to be pretty all right, so I start with my eyebrows, and I already have them arched. I don't have really thick brows, but I bless God 
because I actually didn't have an eyebrow. I know it's light, but I didn't have no eyebrow and my faith oil grew my brow back. So I bless God for that. Now I go in uh, with the sharp pencil and I draw a line under the bottom. And there's no, really there's no right or wrong way to do makeup. It's your face, however you want to look when you go out the door. However, what I have realized is when it's messy, it becomes a distraction. When you got one eyelash hanging and you still, now this is just for the people that, is, that are presenting things, whether it's business, whether it's ministry, that can be distracting. People trying to understand what you're saying and your lash is hanging off. That's just not that good. Just take the whole thing off. All right, so I get my tail, I get the bottom, then I go on and I go ahead and do a line across the very top. Me personally, me and my sister fuss all the time, I like dark eyebrows, but she likes light eyebrows. Whatever you like, you got to look at yourself. Well, you really don't uh, once you leave the mirror, but it's whatever you like. All right, so I go in and I start... This is the this step there. So you got this going on. Then, this is a new pencil I'm using. It's very soft. Um, so then I fill in this part with a couple of strokes going up. And this is just how it's worked for me. If you got another way that works for you, listen. By all means, let it work for you. Next, I go in with my brow brush and I blend outward. I think that blending is so important, y'all. It's good to wear makeup, but like I said, if it's if it's not, it can be distracting if it's kind of wildly thrown about your face. So be mindful. Sometimes people's looking, they're trying to figure out what's going on. And a lot of people I'm learning you're prettier without makeup. Alright, so I'm gonna use I'm using a slanted brush. This is my brow brush. And I go in and I just begin to blend from the outside in. And I'm just blending that in. Okay. Lord have mercy. My son thinks he's at the nightclub. I don't know if y'all can hear him in the background. But I definitely am learning that. It seems as the hardest person in the world to be is yourself. It's crazy. People's making whole songs about stuff that they ain't never did before. They telling testimonies that wasn't quite how they was. That's crazy to me. All right, so I do that step next. Then I go in with my Q-tip. And with my Q-tip, I go in and I remove some of the color. This little tip right here really helped me um, keep my eyebrows where it looks natural. You don't want to be scaring people. I go in and I blend, take that out just a little bit so that your eyebrow is whispering like, hi girl, not hi. You don't want to say that. It scares somebody. He wanted to whisper. So you blend. Oh, yes, God. Then I do the other side. Yes, God. How big you are. You know, I honestly don't use a lot of expensive makeup because I learned this a long time ago. My grandma taught it to me when I was 13 years old, baby. Woo! She said, the gift ain't in the makeup. The gift ain't in the products. The gift is in your hand. So I can take $3 makeup and make it fabulous. I don't have to have expensive makeup. I really never really was a fan of it. But one, I was always too busy. I've always been really uh, busy in my salon, so I would get out of the shop late and the malls would be closed. And that was kind of before really people started really doing a lot of online shopping. So I had to figure out what I could do at the drugstore. And I just never really transitioned. There's a couple of, then there were a couple of brands that I liked at the mall, but then they discontinued my color. And so when I got tired of that, then I just went on and stayed with the, um, the drugstore brands. All right, so I do that step next. Next thing I do is I kind of go in and take a little of that extra out of the middle. One of my good friends told me this. 
um because i was really struggling i was spending so long trying to get them eyebrows to match he said girl chill out he said eyebrows are sisters they not twins I said, oh, okay, so I don't have to look in the mirror for three hours trying to get them straight. Of course, you want to get them if you can. And the one thing, that is that is why I bring them in together to the best of my ability. Then I take take out a little of the makeup because that kind of gives me a little balance. But um, sometimes I really enjoy doing makeup and I spend a lot of time. Today, I don't have a lot of time, but I did want to hop on here. So I'm kind of just getting it done. Then I go on my Q-tip and I keep swapping out, getting a clean Q-tip and just clean up the outside. All right. Now, I am going to go over my concealer so I don't have to do a lot with my uh, Q-tip because I'm going to go in with my concealer. All right. The next step. I put me some lip chap on because I can't stand dry lips. Ooh, I don't see how people do it. I just look in the mirror sometimes and it amazes me because I literally would not go outside without makeup. And I look in the mirror nowadays and I a lot of days I don't wear makeup. I probably wear makeup every maybe two weeks, something like that. I don't know. But it just amazes me, my growth and how the Lord will help you. All right. Now, I like the LA Girl Pro Concealer. I love it. I've tried a lot of ex uh, concealers, expensive ones people brought in. Auto. I love this. It just works for me. It really does. Really well. Oh, hi, Pooh. All right. So, I'm going to go in. Let me use my mirror so I can see what I'm doing. All right. So I'm just getting that together. Going right up under there. I love the brush on this. I just love everything about it. It just blesses me. It gives the perfect base for the eyeliner. This new technique of people doing makeup, honey, I don't know nothing about it. And it ain't even, I'm not even going to learn. It's just too much. I can't put three faces of makeup on in one face. That's crazy. I don't have that. I used to. I, I'm not knocking nobody. It used to take me four hours to get ready. So I definitely get it. But it's because I was had an inner problem that I was trying to fix with outer solutions. I call it, they call it bad and bougie. I call it broken on the outside. I mean, broken on the inside and beautiful on the outside. All right. So now that I got that step, I go in with me uh, a wedge. I just like all the things simple, honey. I, I got, I have brushes, I do, but for everyday quick life, I don't have time for all of that. Every now and again, if I'm on vacation, I have time to pull out all the glitz and glam and the fancy brushes and all of that's fun, but my life is busy nowadays. I have real things to do. I can't be in the mirror all day. It's not enough to be cute, y'all. I know it. I know. I used to think it was, girls. I figured it out. You got to be more than cute. All right, another tip. Now, I got to give this tip. Let me slow down because it's scaring people, all right? Your concealer, when you're doing your eyebrows, in my opinion, I, like I said, it's not a wrong way. If you like it, I love it. But you should not have a, you can have a lighter color under the bottom, but you should not have a lighter color on the top. You shouldn't look like a flashlight is shining from behind your eyebrows outward. No. So what you do is... You take just a little of your foundation. I use Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse. It is my favorite. It's about nine or ten dollars, sometimes seven at certain stores. And I take a little scoop of it, and I put it on the tip of my brush. And I just put it on the top, and I put one little squeeze of concealer right on down in there with the makeup, and it just tones it down to my complexion. And I know it probably looks like that's my complexion on the camera, but it is just a tad bit lighter than me. But I try to get a concealer that's close to me anyway. So, all right. Then I'm going to go in and do the same thing on the top. Oh, that scares me. It's like a chalk outline. No, y'all, that's not, that's not good. But if you like it, I love it. All right, and then I just kind of what I call feathering it out. The one thing that, that I love about this is that it dries in place. And the other reason, I sweat. I don't know if you sweat. 
my face is oily and all those things more sweat than oil i mean more oil than sweat and so um this keeps my eyebrows from blending out all over my face so then i take my sponge and blend that out i did touch my brow a little so i'm gonna go back and just fill that in me personally i think brows are the most important if you get your brow good girl you just throw you on a good lash Woo! yes all right now let's get this other side i really wish y'all go back then if i got any little blemishes that i'm trying to cover i'll, I'll put my little concealer but i wish y'all go back to the simple way because it's just too much y'all i don't like this new way of wearing makeup you are already a lady. You don't got to recontour your face. God made it the shape he wanted to make it. He made your nose cute and plump, girl. He made your eyebrows how he wanted them. He made your cheeks where he wanted them. See, I heard somebody say this, and at first I was like, ooh. But they were in there. You know, listen, y'all know I, it's no knock to the homosexual community because I came from that. God delivered me. He brought me from a mighty long way. But he was the guy was saying, he said, men, gay men, are the one who set the trends for women's makeup. He said, I just think that they really have brought this whole new trend in of uh, really over shaping and reshaping your face because they have to do that to soften their face. And so if the men wear their makeup like that and the women wear their makeup like that, then you don't know who's a man and who's a woman. I said, well, it makes sense. But once this concealer is set, it's pretty, it doesn't move. All right, and it's okay to have some flaws, y'all. We we really are, you know, makeup should only enhance you. At the end of the day, you still supposed to look like you. You don't. We don't want to be like, oh, girl, I didn't even know that was you. That ain't. That's not. That ain't good. All right, I put a tad bit in the middle. I didn't put any extras. Just what's already on my brush. I just kind of run it through the middle. Put the top on my concealer, and I'm gonna kind of blend out a little bit. Now, all of these things are your own personal personal preferences. I'm kind of blending just over top of the dark part there, just a little. All right, now I'm gonna go back in with a clean Q-tip and kind of blend that brow a little bit more. My son just came here and asked me where was I going. I said, I thought I was the grown up, Lord. These kids nowadays, honey, I don't know what's going on with them. All right. So, and uh, rule, you can you can make your brows as close as you like or as far as you like. One little tip, if you just never really wore makeup and you're trying it, so you don't really know how close you like it and how far you like it. One little tip that we learned in beauty school, you can take a Q-tip or your brush and you lay it on the side of your nose and that lets you know where it should start. And then if you want to know where your brow should end, it should, you should be able to line it up outside of your, the edge of your eye. Line it up on the outside of your eye. Hey, Katia. Oh, that's my friend from high school. We was best buds. Oh, so exciting. We all grown up. We've been drinking our milk. We raising our own kids now. Lord, have mercy. All right. So that's the first step. You got your brows, you got your concealer on your brows. Then I go in and I put my actual foundation. Now I'm gonna use um, another sponge, which I really could use the same one, but I'm gonna use another one and dip just a little of my makeup out. Whew. Now the only thing with the mousse is it's a little thick, but I love it. It's my favorite of all the things I've tried. So you gotta get it on there. All right. And it comes in all the shades. It lasts me all day, so I don't know, honey. I can't be spending $99 and $39.75 on things when I can spend $7 and $10. And I still look the same good, because what I realized at the end of the day, baby, it's the anointing that destroys the yolks. It don't matter if you're ugly or cute. If you're anointed, it's enough. Whoo! Somebody say, bless God, because that's real. We got a lot of people that's pretty, and they ain't got no power. Don't get me preaching. I'm trying. My goal was not to preach. That was my goal. But just to do, you know, we got to talk a little bit about things while we do our makeup. All right. So we're blending now. Another tip is make sure you blend your neck out. I'm not putting any more makeup on here. I'm just blending what I have. Move my earrings over. 
blend down your neck. You can touch your ears if you want to. All right. Now, like I said, this is just how I've been doing it for years and I ain't never had no complaints. I never have. Not from the people whose makeup I do and not from nobody that looked at me. All right, so you want to get a good, um, good even complexion. All right, that's that. So make sure everything is good as it could. Then I'm going to put the top on that. And I always keep me a little wet rag around so I can wipe my hands. Yes, and, and, and Drell's one of my favorite models. She knows how to sit good. She spoils me because then when I do other people that don't know how to sit good and they blinking and their eyes is watering all over the place, I'll be like, Lord, it's okay. We get it done, though. We really do. I love it. I've actually met a lot of amazing people in the hair business down through the years, so I thank God for it. All right. The next thing I'm going to go in with is um, my pressed powder. I like the Fashion Fair. I, they are going, I don't even know if they're in business. I had to order it online because it's my favorite. And my color, I wear is called Cola with a K. So I go in and set set my um, foundation. Now, I do this because I'm very oily. My skin gets oily, so it might look a little dry to you. <laughs> it was a little girl at my house last weekend, and I was doing makeup, and she said, I don't like how that looks. And I was halfway through. She said she didn't like how it looks. So when I got done, I said, is that better? She said, yeah, that's better, but I like your regular face. I said, me too, honestly. Took me a long time, but me too. All right, so got that step done. Next, see how we just getting it on done, girl? Ain't nobody got time to be doing makeup for six hours straight, girl. I could be, honey, signing a check somewhere. I don't know what. Somebody could be getting delivered and saved and healed now. We got to keep it in focus. All right, now, my eyeliner that I love is uh, by Rimmel London. You can get all these products at Walmart, Walgreens, and Dollar General. Whew, you know, they can send me a check if they want to. Um, it's called Scandal Eyes, and it lasts 24 hours. This uh, eyeliner lasts and lasts and lasts and keep lasting. You be ready for it to be off, and the only thing that get it off real good is the ADU cleansing oil, so make sure you get some. All right, so I go in and line my bottom lash line. And I go in and do the other side. It just gives perimeter. I've seen a lot of people down through the years, church ladies, that said they didn't believe in wearing makeup, but they wore foundation. Ma'am, that's makeup. And when you just got a whole brown face that just still don't look natural because God made our face with low lights and highlights and some blemishes and some, you know, some different variations of tones. So you got to get all that together. All right, so got my lashes. I mean, I've got my eyeliner. Then I'm going to go in with my um, lash uh, mascara. Let me see if I what color eyeliners. I mean, what kind of them? Um, I don't. I normally do lashes. Um, I normally do a uh, lip or I do eyes. I don't normally like to do both no more. It gets a little much. But I guess we'll do a little eye today just to give y'all a little something. If I got a brush. If I have a, um, where is my black? Sometimes if I want to do a little eye makeup, but I don't feel, have a lot of time to do a lot, I'll just do a highlight under my brow. Um, Right? And normally you want to start your highlight right where your arch of your brow is. Right in there. Right in there. I like, I specialize in natural makeup. I, I like fun and all those good things, but it's just what I like. All right. So we got a little highlight under the brow there. And um, 
Then I'm just going to take a darker color. Sometimes I'll take black, which is real pretty. Because it just gives you a smoky eye if you ain't got time to do no whole smoky eye. Or if you don't really know how to do a smoky eye. But I don't have my black in front of me. My black eyeshadow. So I'm going to use a dark brown. Blow off the extra. And I'm just going to put it right where my crease, below the crease. That's it. Just below the crease. This is a... It's actually more like a copper penny color. It's not this is the darkest that I have right in front of me. Uh, it's not really a lot of color on this one. I don't want that color. Okay. Well, you got the point of the story. You got the point. Next, I'm going to go in. If you wear lashes, this is a good tip because it is distracting. These lashes, y'all, listen, if you don't know how to do it, it's best not to do it. Because it's really distracting when people's trying to look at you on your lash. You got your lash all the way up here or hair and you got a little brown in between. Mm -mm. You got to do better with that. It's not good. So practice at home. Get you some cheap dollar store lashes. Practice. I like hair glue when I put my lashes on a lot of the time. Um... Because it doesn't turn my lashes out, me personally. But if I want them to really last even a little longer, I like... Uh, well, we'll get to that when we get to the lashes. All right, now, little tip. Liquid eyeliner. It works wonders. So it helps you to have a, a little cushion when you're putting your lashes on. So people don't be confused if you don't get it at the right place. So I start kind of in the middle, right up against my lash line. And I work my way in. The reason I don't just start in the corner is so I don't have a blob of eyeliner right here and mess up. So it got some good little fine tip on it. Actually, I don't know what kind of eyeliner this is. I'm going to work my way all the way to the tip. To the corner of my eye. Alright, and then I'm going to keep working my way on across. Makeup should enhance, ladies. It should not scare small children. All right, this is liquid, so you got to let it dry a little bit. So eyeliner just de defines the eye. That's the purpose of eyeliner. It just gives parameters to the eye. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Just keep on smoothing it on out. And if you like a cat eye on the end, you can do all that. But this is my quick face. I got somewhere to be in a short time. So I'm smoothing out any arrow. I want to make sure it's to the best of my ability. It's kind of the same thickness. But when you put your lash on, it's going to definitely smooth out anything this just gives you a little line of guide when you put your lashes on so i'm just trying to dry it just a tad bit hey anita hey mackenzie hey sugar bear all the dolls is on the line today all right make sure you put your tops on your products good I thank God I don't have to share my products with my princess because she don't like the all dolled up life like that. But some of y'all be having a struggle because y'all got to share with your little princesses. All right, so now I'm letting that dry a little bit. Oh, I see a little part I, I need to get together right here in the middle. Do y'all got TikTok? Listen, I'm new to TikTok. I'm trying to stay up with the trends. It's just too many trends. I can't keep up with it. I feel like I'm getting old trying to keep up with all this stuff. All right, now my favorite eye mascara in the whole world is called Rimmel. Um, extra Super Lash, and it's like two of them for like $4.50 at uh, Walmart. I love it. It makes my lashes wonderful. 
my mama is the queen of a good eyelash twirl i can't do an eyelash twirl she take that brush in and she'll twist it out Woo! I, I always love to see her do it when she was when i was little i can't do it it gets makeup everywhere every time i try it so however works for you some people take their brush and they go in with the tip facing the eye I just kind of wiggle out because really what I'm doing is just coating my lashes so that my lashes don't look brown with, with face powder when I put the strip lash on. But this is also good to wear it out if you, you want to just wear your natural lashes. That's always good too. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. Sometimes it's hard for me to listen to music while I'm trying to do what I'm doing because I get stirred up. I love God. He's just, he's been so good to me. That's a little tip I learned. That it helps you keep your eyes steady when you open up your mouth just a little bit. This is how I find my battles. This is how I find my battles. Hallelujah. This is how I find my battles. I always say all the time, I feel like we really were equipped in church to learn that church is pretty and that God is always soft and that you don't have no bad times. But baby, you're going to have bad times and you're going to have good times and you got to learn how to fight with praise. You got to learn how to fight with prayer. You got to learn how to fight with what you believe about God. Looking back over your life, knowing that if he brought you through every other situation, that he ain't bring you that far just to leave you. I love the Lord. He's a good God. All right. So let me get my lashes prepared. I got a pair that I took off another day. I'm just going to put these on. So what I do, I like, the other reason I like hair glue is because it's so easy to get the glue off the lash. I just, I'm able to pull it off, but I didn't use hair glue when I put these on. I used the Kiss glue, so it's a little bit more sticky. But you want to be able to, to pull off as much that you can so you can have a good clear band. How's y'all's day going today? Is everybody having a good day? I just learned how to say I can't worry about it. I'm going to have to have a good day come what may, whichever way it's going. If it ain't looking good, it means God is still working together for my good. But in due season, if I faint not, it's going to be all right. The word of the Lord is after you've suffered a little while. We don't want to suffer, y'all. We don't want to go through nothing. We just want life to be all rainbows and butterflies. Well, I hate to be the bird of bad news. It's not going to be. <laughs> but God will be with you. That is what I do know. All right. So I got my lash as clean as I believe I can get it. Make sure y'all join us. Have y'all liked the Makeover Transformation Church page? I hope y'all have because if you haven't, now listen. You got to make sure you get your soul fed. It's not enough. What prospers a doll to be beautiful on the outside? What prospers her to... Slay every day, win best dressed award every day, and then lose your soul. And even more important, not more important, let me change that. Even as important is to have sanity and peace here while you're on earth. Listen, you ain't got to wait till you get to heaven to have peace. Okay? You really don't. God will be with you right here. He'll give you that peace that surpasses all understanding. You ain't got to hold grudges on people. You ain't got to hold unforgiveness in your heart. None of that. All right, so I'm using the kiss glue, and I'm just holding my lash with one hand, and I'm using my brush with the other hand. Um, but you don't have to hold grudges, and the people that didn't treat you right, forgive your mama, forgive your daddy. Honey, they didn't know. They didn't know they was hurting your feelings like that. They really didn't. I've learned that people can only offer you what they have. They offer you what they have, but the one thing that gave me peace about it all, blessings, Mark, the peace that gave me, that gives me peace about it all was my daddy wasn't really in my life, but he gave me life. So if all you ever gave me was your DNA, that's all I needed. So if you holding a grudge against somebody, your mama, your daddy, baby, get over it. They gave you DNA. Go forward. You don't have to be what they were. 
Do what they did good and what they didn't do good. You don't got to do that. Do something else. So you only hold yourself in bondage when you're not forgiving people. You better learn like I tell my kids. I tell them this. It didn't prosper. They said, don't tell mama nothing because if you tell her she ain't going to do nothing but say it didn't prosper. But it's the truth. My son said, you go in there and tell mama you got hit by a car. She's going to say, it didn't prosper, son. Well, it's the truth. If you're able to come and tell me about it, you, it didn't prosper. Like, we're allowing things to hold grudge. I don't care if you're black. You, you know, I'm black. I, I'm a man, baby. I don't care if you're black. I don't care if you're a man. I don't care if none of those things. At the end of the day, you just get up and you be in control of your own destiny. If God be for you, he's greater than the world against you. And stop being scared of corona. My God. I tell you, I, people kill me, honey. You wasn't scared in sin. Have you ever slept with somebody with no protection? You ever did drugs? Weed is included. All right. We got people out here that been on crack that's scared of corona. If you made it through crack, but you scared of corona, I'm just talking about what I'm talking about. I ain't saying be ignorant. Yes, people are losing their lives. I hear all of those things. But at the end of the day, if you still kicking, baby, you better get up and do what you can with the life that you have today. Because tomorrow, it ain't promised. All right, let's put this lash on. I kind of go in towards the middle and get me a connection point. All right. It's like we just, you know, then let's talk about the president, honey. Y'all people, not me, because I don't care not one bit. People get so wore out about who's the president. I don't care. The Bible says the government rests on his shoulders. Just because whoever's the president, that don't change God. He said all things work together for the good. Do you understand that? Is that, do you believe the Bible that you read? Because if you really believe all things work together, you would have said, well, bless God. Just because somebody say something don't mean God going to let him pull it through. And if he let him pull it through, then he's going to use it for his good. We got to, we have really learned wrong in church, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe not y'all. But for me, I was really taught wrong. I was really taught wrong, baby. When I really understood that God before me, just get that. You know a lot of scriptures, but you got to learn to live some and hold some in your heart. If God be for me, I can't worry about my neighbor. I can't worry about nobody else. If God be for me, he is greater than the whole wide world against us. The whole wide world. It's not just in the Bible on coincidence. No, he really meant that thing. He's greater than the whole wide world against us. Do you believe it or not? Stop living in fear. Do what you got to do. Go home, sit down, and go right. But don't stop living. Don't stop being productive. Okay, if you at home with your kids, baby, write a book. Everybody got a story to tell. Just because they told you stay home don't mean you can't be productive. You better learn how to have vacation right there in your living room, baby. You better learn how to turn off the lights and light a candle. Better have a honeymoon right there in your living room. Woo, I love God, honey. You better, I don't know. I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. But it's important to keep living. That's the point of the story. You only have one life to live. You better be great every day. And maybe it's just how God brought me, but he, he, I just have seen him do too much. To go somewhere and get in the hole. If I'm in the hole, everybody in the hole gonna get saved. All right. So we're gonna put this other lash on. And then I think I'm gonna just, since my lashes is on today, brows, I got my bun. I think I'm gonna put on a little, uh, I think I'm gonna do pink lip gloss today. All right. Let's put this other lash on. The other thing that I, the uh, hair glue, you can put it on wet, but the lash glue, you got to kind of let it get tacky at first. All right. All right. So you got to bring it on down. Don't let it stand up and praise God by itself in the balcony. Makeup is about balance and blending. It's supposed to look something like yourself. Now these new eyelashes, this is about the, really this, I bought this a little longer than I like my lashes. But these new eyelashes, ladies, we're going to listen. We're going to take a little moment. Let's talk about them, okay? It, you know it's getting real when you can put your lash on with your hand and you don't need no tweezers. 
That's too big. That has now become a weave track that you done stuck on your eye. Let's keep it in perspective, people. But again, if you like it, I love it. But when I seen them new eyelashes, I'm just talking about for me and the all dolled up dolls. As for me and my house, when I seen these new big gigantic lashes, these right here, like I just said, I normally don't wear them this big because this is a little long for me. And it's a little heavy. It's a lot. It's a little lot. But um, I picked up one. I was trying a new style. Yeah, I tried it. But anyway, it reminded me of the scripture that says sin is never satisfied. You got a little bit, okay? We just want a little bit enhancement. And then we got the little bit. Then you got a little bit more. Then you got a little bit more. Then you sitting up in your whole eyelash like a hand hanging off this blinking. It's just too much, y'all. It's too much. It's too much. All right. Now that I got my lashes on, I always kind of go in and I take my finger and I kind of push up my natural lash to make sure that it's blending in well with the with the uh, fake lash, false lash. All right, now, next, I still like blush. Somehow, people don't wear it that much no more, or I don't know. And then, I'm gonna show you how I do my little bit of highlighting, and then that's all I got. Well, if I can get the thing open. Mm, mm, mm. Well, all right. I'm going to go in and, um, now as far as my, the way I do my highlighting, I take a lighter powder and I'm probably going to use about this color right here. Let me get a clean sponge. And I use a little makeup sponge. I don't necessarily care too much for all the gold and looking like a statue by the time you get done getting dolled up. But again, I'm just saying my own preferences. But if you like it, I love it. All right. So I go in and I just lay my brush, I mean my wedge, right under my lash line and I just make a little mark up. And then I do the same thing on the other side. I just go up. And after I go up with it, I take the rest of my wedge and I come down on the top of my brow, right alongside. And then I just kind of blend it off into my hairline a little bit. Next, I take a brush. Now this part is it requires blending. You know, you want to go in and blend. Mm -hmm. Take a clean, dry brush, and I just blend out that extra. And that just gives you a little highlight right under the eye. And then I'm going to go in with um, the edge of my sponge. And I'm just going to blend. Now, if I had on like a smoky eyeliner that would lay right up against it, if I had on a cat brow, any of those, it would lay right up against it. It would be perfect. But seeing as how I don't really have on eyeshadow, I'm just going to blend that line out. Blend that line right out. And just pat it just a tad bit. I used to have a color that was so perfect. Now I have to kind of blend my palette to get that shade I like. Next. This is kind of like my full face glam. This is about... I 
All right. Next, I'm going to go in with my blush. And I got like a goldeny blush and highlight together. A uh, pink rose. Rose gold. That's the color I was trying to say. And I'm going to go in the apples of my cheeks. Everything I wear, I mean, you really can't, for some reason, it's not showing up as good on the screen. But then again, I don't wear a lot, a whole lot of color. I'll take a picture after so you can see. Um, you kind of catch more of the technique than anything. But just right in, I go around and then I blend up. Around and then I blend up. And I make sure those two kind of blend together. <sighs> and we want to use a little highlight, actual glimmer, shimmer highlight. I'll use a little highlight side. Ooh. Oh, Lord. And I go right in the dip of my lip. And the tips of my eyes is the only place I put highlight. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it has been good. I'm going to go in and put me some pink lip gloss. Thank y'all for joining me for getting all dolled up. I love y'all and I'll see you soon. Blessings and peace.